What's up, everyone? This is Jordan Young with Tap and Tune Music Productions. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today, I want to look at being an artist in the studio and creating tracks on the fly. So basically, I want to walk you guys through my workflow and how I create different sounds. And I want to really look at some drum sounds today I think you really might like through Get Good Drums. This is the Fusion Kit, and we're going to do a walkthrough on the Fusion Kit and explain kind of the kit pieces and incorporate the sounds in a mix and give you guys an example of how to really write on the fly, how to create quickly and have excellent sounds so that your productions always sound great. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video if you get something from it. Anyways, let's jump into it and I'll show you what's going on. So here's my setup with my electronic drum kit, which you can kind of see in the background. This is an Alesis Nitro Mesh kit. If you haven't seen my other video on recording e-drums to Steven Slate 5, please check that out in the description below. I'll put a link up for that. So anyways, yes, I'm still using the same setup, only a different software. This time we're using Get Good Drums. It's a fusion kit, which I really like the sounds of. It's super versatile. Uh, it's great for rock, metal, R&B, pop. I mean, you can use it for a variety of different styles. And the main reason why I incorporate the e-drum kit is because I'm a drummer and I want to be able to play in real time and feel the music. Uh, I don't like to program, although sometimes, you know, to be honest, I will program on the pads. But the main thing is to get the feel and the, and the vibe of, you know, an actual performance. So I have a song that I've recorded here, just guitar and bass, kind of a cool, real groovy kind of uh, rock thing going on. I'm going to lay down some drums to it. So I'm going to show you my process and then I walk you through some of the processing and how I mix the drums. So hopefully you guys get an idea on, you know, how to incorporate this similar kind of workflow into your sessions. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Okay. So here's inside our Pro Tools session. I will show you what I've got going on with Get Good Drums. Here is the player. Now, you have to use contact for this specific instrument. So I've instantiated it in contact 7. You can use contact 6. However, contact 7 is recommended because it's the newest. Anyways, here's a layout of the kit. I'm using a preset called Let's Rock. <laughs> and it's a drop-down menu over here, which kind of just dials in kind of some of the sounds. Um, master, EQ, Engage. Anyways... So that's cool. If you want to actually, you know, map your MIDI notes to this session, the easiest way to do it is go to settings and you see mappings up here. Um, all the articulations, kick, snare, hats, toms, ride, crash, etc. All these have uh, MIDI notes assigned to it. And if you want to just click the button here and, you know, tap your electronic drum kit. It's easy to do, so you can just, you know, tap it, and it maps directly to that note. So the kick is C1. Here's the kick. Bell brass snare, Gretsch. Love that. Uh, a 10 and a 12 tom. And a 16-inch floor tom. Uh, nice selection of minor cymbals, uh, hi-hats. Crash, left crash, right crash, splash, China, and my favorite, this like stack hat, which is just so cool and just this real quick decay just sound. Love the stack hat. So there's the drum kit. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so let's, I'll play you the track and then we'll go ahead and run through the drums. So Here's the guitar and the bass already laid down. I was just played through my Les Paul. Um, not a lot of processing, just a little compression. Using this, um, you know, guitar emulation from Plugin Alliance, the BX Rock Track V3. Uh, I recorded all the guitar tracks through a pedal, um, and then I just add a little bit of EQ, a little 3K band, and finally a little, uh, you know, slap echo or reverb slash delay so that's cool so here's the track i'll let you just hear it
drums. Uh, I'm just going to use what I have dialed in here, which is a little Amec 200 EQ on my drum bus. Um, I'm using a black box HG2 for a little saturation, pentode and triode tubes, a little air. Um, really great plug-in, super handy for drums or mixing. And uh, another saturation plug-in, Oxford Inflator. Got it kind of gained up a bit here on the uh, curve and the effect, about 67% wet. And I have 7th Heaven, uh, which is just a kind of a room reverb, one second room reverb that I'm blending in at about, you know, 40 or 30%. So that just gives the drums a little ambience. So let's go ahead and record some drums. Here we go. <laughs> 